Hey guys, it's Kugel again with another ROM review and this time I've got Color OS for Galaxy S3. Now, uh, Color OS is this stock-ish OS which comes with Oppo phones like the Oppo N1 and the Oppo Finder etc. So it is a Chinese based uh, Android o ROM which is based on Android 4.2.2 Jelly Bean. So yeah, it is uh, quite old but that is the latest version which we have. So, um, the official list of supported devices include all the Oppo phones and Galaxy S4 and uh, HTC One and some other phone also, but it, it does not include Galaxy S3. But we do have the uh, Color OS on Galaxy S3 for now. So this is brought to brought by a developer. So let's um, I can't really pronounce his name. So let's get into the ROM now. First of all, what you would see here is the lock screen which is uh, well it is not the only lock screen it does have a lot of themes from the uh, developers from the users so you do have that we have the launcher which is a custom launcher for the color os so that is pretty cool these are the apps with which it comes it is all themed apps it's none uh, similar to the android official app so you do have a lot of things this is a 400 meg rom but it still requires the g apps to be flashed and quite a warning uh it requires the 4.2.2 g apps rather than the 4.4 g apps which are now available so be careful about that okay so now let's get into the settings now first of all in the settings page you can see the settings layout is different from the normal um android layout so first of all let's go to about phone in the about phone you can see this color os based on android our phone color os version 1 4.2.2 quad core 1.4 well that's just the cpu of our phone rom this much free this much total built number one uh, 291 sim status legal information and a lot of the, that stuff so you do have all of that options now uh what do i feel about this rom first of all just a uh, quick something which i just want to talk about this rom this is a beautiful rom just like miui i want to call this like an miui but uh, right now it doesn't have as much as the uh, user base fan base as the miui rom so it may not be there yet but if this rom keeps on updating you know, on a weekly basis the website does say that it will update on a weekly basis so if that does happen this may prove to be a really solid rom uh, which is on a later version than uh, miui let's get into those features now you do have wireless and network features here which are similar to what you can expect from uh, all of this. They are all working. Uh, I haven't tried Wi-Fi uh, display and Wi-Fi direct, but uh, I presume that can be used with a app or anything like that. So I'm not too concerned about that. Some user where uh, was reporting that Wi-Fi was not working in his, but uh, I found that to be no pro. I didn't have any problem with that. So yeah, one user was reporting that he couldn't. Uh, actually use Google Play in this but I found that to be contrary I was able to use Google Play uh, I did update a few apps and touch so that's pretty cool storage options etc apps now it does have a lot of Chinese blotware this is a Chinese based ROM so it does have a lot of blotware but most of them are not shown here it does have a lot I mean a lot it is a 400 megs without G apps so that means a lot of blotware uh, what else does this have now gesture and motion this is a really great feature which i found to be really cool now it does have a kind of an s3 ish uh, well the features which were debuted in s3 so you do have a lot of those apps uh, first of all let's get into custom gestures now custom gestures are a few things which are pretty cool you have to swipe down from this area you will get something called a touchpad uh, I guess in the Oppo N1, the back side has the touchpad, so that is, uh, I guess this is a proprietary thing. Now, you can add a few gestures. Now, for V, the st default gesture is flashlight. Now, it will open the flashlight and it will turn it on. So, that is pretty great. You do have that option. That is really cool. Uh, you can add a lot of options. Now, uh, these are the default options with which it comes. You can add a few options like call. Turn on camera, turn on video, start playing music also. So you do have a lot of options. You can have open app also. So this is kind of like a gesture anywhere feature which was found in Chaos ROMs. That is Chameleon OS. 
so that is something which I really like in this ROM so that is available what else do we have now these are motion controls so these are the ones which I was talking about which is uh, reminiscent of the S3 so you can see uh, telephony motions you can flip to mute you can try it out uh, let me just try it so it is muted I'm not sure if you heard it but it is muted so you do have that uh, easy dial easy answer and hands-free switch these are like uh, these are not just uh, based on proximity sensor but these are also based on the motions you have to execute the motion of your phone reaching your ear and then the proximity sensor should be on uh, then it will actually answer so that are options available so that is pretty cool uh, it does have camera motion which is this one I guess it's quite hard to get this but you can I think it is three fingers to uh, three fingers like in the motion like this which will enable the camera well it does work but I cannot get it to work in front of the camera so it, it does work I have used this a few times but it is quite difficult and it is supposed to be uh, it is supposed to be able to work in any environment any in, at any interface so it does work it is quite usable now system motions now system motion has a few things you can double tap to lock which is double tapping the home button to uh, lock so I have just well I wanted to lock yeah it just locked the phone so it is available so that is pretty cool let's get started again uh, it does have a different style of recent menu which displays the available RAM and this is a 4.2.2 ROM so yeah not a lot of free RAM available you can just clear everything and have that let's get back to the settings menu you can also uh, take a screenshot by swiping three fingers I guess it should work let's see it just took a screenshot by uh, by me swiping with three fingers so that does work double finger volume control so you can have that also so that is a few good features of this ROM which are gesture based so you do have all of that now uh, etc both of these are normal features you would find it in your ROM factory reset accessibility settings you do have accessibility settings like uh, power button to end call and stuff like that so you do have that I'm not going to get too much into that because there are others to cover sound options you do have a different tab for the sound option you can have a ringtones vibrate while ringing dial pad tone all of these so these are quite similar features you can find in any other ROMs but yeah they, they have a different town the layout is quite different now brightness option wallpaper and screen lock type now screen lock type is kind of different uh, I have said that there are a lot of screens available it is based on themes I will get to that later uh, one thing which I found is that the auto rotate screen is not working I'm not sure if it will work in any other situation or not or in the future but it's not working for me so yeah battery percentage you can see it is at 50 percentage but uh, I'll get to the battery percentage later EC light is kind of a notification you do have notification options here you can enable or disable notification and uh, things like that so low battery and charging light holiday wallpaper is kind of like uh, it automates the wallpapers so that you can have uh, different wallpapers during different um, holiday seasons so if you if it's Christmas the wallpaper change uh, will automatically change to a Christmas themed wallpaper so that is there being a themed ROM it does have a lot of options now first of all let's just see the um, this thing the notification drawer you do have all these options right you have the quick settings here brightness toggle here you can have automatic brightness or not you can swipe it down for even more options so you do have a lot of it does have a power saving feature which I found well sadly it was not up to the mark I couldn't get any power saving from it so yeah it does have a lock now which is a better alternative to double tapping the home button well the main reason of not having the lock button to be pushed is to save the lock button and the home button doesn't make a good sacrifice so yeah there is something called this one this is a blotware actually I cannot understand anything which is shown in this maybe one of the audience can uh, so yeah you can type this one and it will have an animation and it will just reduce the RAM usage so it is the RAM 58% uh, 50, of the RAM is used right now you have all of these quick settings there also so yeah 
Almost everything in this ROM is themed. So that is one of the other features. I'll get into themes later. Uh, clock, you can see it is themed. It is white-ish thing. So that is pretty cool. Weather is this widget, which is this one. So you do have a APK file for that. I will uh, post the link to the forum where you can get that. So yeah. Notes is a proprietary notes application, which is similar to what MIUI offers. So that is pretty cool. Um, files is kind of like an MIUI style file. So you do have categories at first, then storage, and then you do have cloud option also. But you have to uh, log into the uh, color OS uh, details and stuff like that forum, I guess. So you can have that. Lock now is just an icon for the screen to uh, screen to lock. Browser is also customized. Email. This is kind of like a uh, aftermarket market app which you can use it is a proprietary market app where uh, there are apps which you can download so yeah now let's get into the theming function so it does have a lot of theme i'm not actually connected to the uh, internet right now it does have a few themes i'm not going to say it has a lot of themes because it is still an up and coming rom now i have downloaded two themes this is still downloading um, this is a theme which i really like it's kind of a different one so i'm just I'm going to apply it now it is applied so it changes the icon the app uh, icons and stuff like that so it's pretty cool now um, in the th something which I was um, referring to in the settings you do have um, a screen lock type chooser so you do have a few other theme uh, screen locks also this the theme function does not change the screen lock but this does now this is a normal uh, uh, th uh, screen lock which is available with the ROM so I'm, that is the one which is applied which is used you can see in this one I can just apply this one and I will show you guys what it is now it has been applied successfully this is the other screen lock that is the screen lock I hope you heard the uh, engine revs which is pretty cool you do have another kind of theme lock screen lock which I'll show you guys which is this one it is all downloaded from the forum from here you can download it it is all free i didn't find any paid screen locks in here i guess maybe if you log in you will find a few so yeah so that is with this one uh, the camera is the normal um cyanogen mod 10.1 camera so it didn't have any crashes the music app is quite different. It does have online music app, which you can uh, from where you can listen to a few uh, music. It uses the Baidu music engine, so you do have that. Video app is also Oppo video app, which is uh, kind of a proprietary one. You can see the one user w did report that it was crashing a lot. I didn't have any crashes in this one. So photos all also kind of a proprietary one you do have all of these these are well my selfies and things like that yeah phone app and messaging app these are all themed it is uh, similar to what you can expect but it, they are all themed you can see a lot of blotware also this is the one which i uh, which i was talking about it is security guardian which is a proprietary app I guess. now let's get into the unto do benchmark score now benchmark was well expected it was kind of on the lower side because well it is a 4.2.2 rom and most of the other newer rom even the stock rom can perform uh higher than this the average was not this uh, i have flashed it two or three times and the average was about 17900 which is on the lower side yes but you have to keep in mind that this is a jelly bean 4.2.2 rom not a 4.3 plus rom so that is something which i wanted to talk about and as i've said i have installed play store and things like that it does work no problems there uh, these are the extra tools with the, with which it comes. You do have calculator, flashlight, sound recorder, compass. These are all working. The compass app is actually a really smooth compass app. I really like this one. So that is pretty cool. Security settings. I have already said that. Data monitoring. You do have data monitor app. Uh, pretty cool. Gallery. Gallery is kind of like the normal gallery option which you get from an AOSP ROM. So that is there. I guess that is it about the ROM. Let me show you guys the boot and shutdown animation. Yeah, it does have a themed this one also, but it doesn't have a reboot or recovery option. That is four-way recovery. So yeah, kind of doable. This is the shutdown animation, which uh, shows you Oppo. So here is the um, 
good animation which shows you guys the oppo logo which is a company logo so yeah that's pretty cool so i guess that much is it about the rom uh, one more feature is that uh, in the launcher in the right hand side you have a mini camera option which gives you a quick access to the camera so that is pretty cool so yeah see you guys next time please share subscribe or like the video if you found it useful so again see you guys next time bye